Hello, this is a video that will show you how to save your work to your Z drive. So in Microsoft Word, sometimes when you're in class, you will need to uh, stop your work at the end of class and then pick it up the following class. All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do on this video is how to save your work so that um, all of your work won't be erased in the following class you can pick up where you left off. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is once you type your work, you want to click on File and then Save As. Then you'll find this option right here where it says This PC. Okay, you want to double click on this PC and that's going to bring up this window. And what you'll see is you'll see your favorites, you'll see libraries, and then you'll see computer. You're going to want to select the option for computer. And that's going to bring up this window. And my window look is going to look a little bit different from yours because uh, you're actually going to find a file, see a file here that actually has your name listed. Okay. That is your Z drive. That is where you're going to save your work. So you want to click on your Z drive. I'm going to click on this one because this is where I store some of my work, but you're going to click on the one that has your name. And then uh, you'll see the grade level folder that we set up for you at the beginning of the semester. So you're going to double click on, well, I'm going to double click on sixth grade, but you'll click on your grade level folder. And then after you do that, you're going to click on the class um, for which assignment you're saving that work into. So obviously, if you're saving your work for my class, it is STEM. Okay. And then you'll see any other files that you've created, or if this is your first file that you're saving to your STEM folder, you'll just see that file. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type the name of your file right here where it says file name. And my suggestion is to always save your work as your first and last name and then the name of the assignment. So that way, whenever you need to go back into that assignment from in the future, you'll be able to get to that work. You'll know where it is. So again, first and last name and the name of the assignment. And then once you do that, you can either press enter or you can press save. OK, and that saves your work. Now, a few things will have changed. If this is your very first time saving the work, you'll notice that the, the name that you, the file name that you gave your work is now at the top. Whenever you open up a brand new Microsoft Word document, you'll see document one, document two, or whatever, or whichever document it is. But once you save it and you give it a file name, the new file name is up here. Now, going forward, whenever you need to save your work, you do not have to do the file and, or save as or anything like that. The only thing that you have to do is just press the save button. Okay. Um, or obviously you can use the shortcut, which is control S to save your work. All right. That is how you save your work to your Z drive. 